All right, everybody. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be downloading MetaTrader 4 on a computer, on a specifically on a PC. So uh, again, this video is only specifically for PC users. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by going on to uh, Trader's Way download on a uh, on Google. Okay. So go to Google and go to Trader's Way download. And once you type in that, what you'll do is you'll look for where it says uh, trading platforms. Right. So this one specifically, okay, after you click that, it's going to lead you to a page like this. Uh, you want to look for where it says download MT4, MetaTrader 4. Now, why do I use Trader's Way? Um, that's just a broker that I personally use, and um, it, it just runs very, very smoothly. Uh, I never had a problem with it. So you click download. We'll start to download. After it's done that, Click it. Yes, I agree. Next, it'll load. It'll come up with some screen right here. You could just uh, essentially just delete that. You don't need that. I'm um, just looking for this right here to load. Right, then finish. And then it's going to load something. So as it's loading, we'll look at. What's been going on in the news today? This guy is pretty interesting. Number 13. So it's still downloading. See, now this is cool. Family, together. <laughs> okay. Then it'll pop up, just like this. All right. Now, um, let's say that you have a different broker other than Trader's Way. You can literally just click this button right here, which says Add New Broker. All right, let's say you have JAFX, all right, you can just type it in, click scan, and then it'll pop up, all right? So you either click, you know, demo or real, just make sure that it loads all the way through and you see like the green buttons like this. Now, let's say that you have um, a live account with Traders Way, then obviously you click live, next, and then you go to existing, put in your right information, make sure it's correct. Um, now, let's just say that you're using a demo account. Obviously, you click demo, next, and then you put this information here. Now, sometimes what happens is you'll put in your information, and for some reason, it won't work. So, what you want to do is you literally want to type in uh, TW, for, let's for specifically traders, right? TW uh, space CORP, and then click scan, and then it'll do it again. Sometimes it may not go through the right the first time. So you just want to do it two times um, just in case it doesn't go through the first time. Okay, so um, so uh, Traders Way Demo, right? And then click Next, and then you'll put in your existing information. If you had that, let's say you're making a demo account, then you'll click where it says, uh, you know, New Demo Account, then click Next, okay? Um, after it pulls up this screen right here, just put in your personal information, I click I agree to this I would definitely just keep this the same you know whatever you want to do you can change the the, the amount if you'd like um, you change the leverage if you'd like okay? and then next and then there's gonna be a pop-up that pulls up where it has a login what I'll definitely suggest if anything take a picture of this because on the next video I'm going to show you how to be able to um, connect your uh, to make sure that your laptop connects with your phone all right, you'll take a picture of that information right there, the login and password, and then you put it into your phone. I'll show you in the next video. So click finish, all right? And you're going to hear a pop-up screen. It didn't play just now, but you'll hear a pop-up screen like, you know, like a sound. Just make sure that this right here is green and blue, right? Um, green and blue. Right now it's red because it's saying that it's a slow service. Um, usually it's faster, so it's a no connection now. It's probably going to turn um, green and blue right there. That was the sound that I was looking for. Green and blue, where the connection is a little bit faster. Okay, you're going to have four screens that look like this. 
You can keep all four screens like that if you'd like. Me personally, I don't like it. So I will personally just make sure that I only have one. And I click this button right here to maximize that one screen. What I would also do is, um, you see where it says the navigator? Um, let's say that you have many uh, accounts. You can keep that navigator open. And I just pulled this all the way down and I can be able to have my many accounts literally right there and I can just double click and open them. Let's say you only have one account, then you can just turn off this navigator and just close it. That's what I personally do. Right. Um, and then I'll have, you know, mailbox. This is the account history for that specific account. And then the trading uh, history as far as active trades. This is um, uh, previous trades that you had in the past. Okay. So this is what it looks like like this. Right. And now you, I know you see where it says waiting for update. Um, if anything, you click and hold, drag into the middle pair, and then um, your screen will pop up. Okay. Now, what I would definitely suggest is to add all the pairs by right clicking this area right here, right? Go to symbols and from symbols, um, you'll go to ECN or major pairs, matters or whatever broker that you currently have and just double click all of those pairs. Right now there's certain pairs that I do not um, use like the Norwegian Chrome. I don't use that, or the Swedish Corona, or the Turkish Laura, or the uh, South African Rand. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. Um, the reason why I don't use them is mostly because the spread is sometimes a little higher than usual. Um, so, New Zealand, the New Zealand dollar, yes. Japanese, yeah. Mostly the ones at the bottom here I don't use. Okay. These I don't use. Okay. Anything. Dealing with those in the Mexican peso, those are those I just don't use for now. All right, so um, I'll probably drag this out a little bit, okay, so that I can be able to see, right? Um, and then what I'll also do is I want to make sure that my screen looks exactly how I want it to look. So for PC users only, I have a template. You can go to template, be able to load, right? And when you download my template, I'm, if anything, I'm going to have a, a portion where you can be able to. Um, upload my my template right go to templates and then you'll just open it and then it'll show now what's really important is as you can see the screen is there which is great right now what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that these two buttons right here you want to make sure that this is clicked right so that when you scroll it automatically goes pushes back to the right where current prices and then this one pushes the screen to the left so you can be able to see the future for this cloud right here. Let's say that you're not using the cloud, you can literally just take off the indicator by clicking on the indicator itself and then taking it off and just having the screen just like this if you are trading uh, session three, okay? Um, and then you obviously just change the uh, time frames like this, right? You can pull out your Fibonacci if you'd like like that, right? But what I would definitely suggest when it comes to uh, marking up your charts and stuff like that, I would definitely go to uh, trading. Okay, so if you have any questions, um, if anything, write a comment, uh, like this uh, this this video, share it with somebody else that you're looking to be able to help, and somebody that's looking to be able to download Trader's Way on their computer. Okay, well not Trader's Way, but MetaTrader Four on the computer. So if you need any, if you have any questions, if you have any other videos that you believe that we should be able to create, um, definitely write a comment. And we'll speak to you guys soon.